So this is the Unlab IPKVM. Uh, it's running on a uh, small computer, and that's also <coughs> this small computer is controlling an Arduino device, which can which controls a regular KVM USB KVM switch, and also generates keyboard commands using USB HID, which it sends into the KVM switch. The KVM switch we have hooked up right now. Uh, via USB cable and VGA um, for the sake of testing back into the controlling box but that would typically be hooked up to another machine like a server or whatnot. Um, we have the VGA out on the KVM switch which would normally go to your single monitor going into a PC to TV device which is then converting it to uh, composite um, RCA video uh, which will which will change to S video in the future for higher bit uh, higher quality. It's going into a Dazzle device, which is um, basically a capture card, which is then going back into that PC. The PC is then uh, is then streaming that video. So here's the actual interface. So we have a Ethernet cable hooked up directly between the uh, small computer and this laptop. So here's the actual web interface. Um, at the moment it's for debugging, so you can see debugging messages on the side. Um, you can see the actual video that's being uh, captured in the middle there as well. Again, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the stages of being built, so there's a green, green line there that uh, we'll have to figure out and fix. But uh, proof of concept, I'm going to start typing on my keyboard. And you should see keys, or you should see uh, text start popping up. There you go. So, and we've got a, another monitor hooked up to the PC t to TDB device, which is just uh, directly, it's just straight paths through for testing. So you can see over here, this is the actual full quality uh, version of that, uh, that capture device. Uh, so if we go back over to here, um, this is all USB head, so you can see over here, these are the actual packets that we're sending, or the actual USB head reports we're sending. Um, there's about a two second delay on it, uh, but uh, that's something we're gonna work on. Uh, it's got full control for uh, for the modifier keys. You can see uh, all that. Right. Why not? And at the side here, we have some uh, some some buttons that we can press. The uh, one that's currently set up is the switch KVM option. So if I press that, you should see the screen go black. And there you go, it went black. Because uh, uh, once we've clicked on that switch button, it's actually told the KVM to switch. So what we, if, we can, if we go over here, I'm going to press that, that switch button again on the web page, and you can see the KVM is switching. Right now we have our device set up on PC3, so that's where it is. And that's the video.